Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be doing a third trimester Q&A. We have done a first trimester, second trimester, and we are at the last few weeks of being pregnant. Like I could have her any day now. I'm is... I'm ready for her to be here. I just, I want her out and I want her here now because I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> yeah, we're just super excited. We are very eager for her to be here. Um, Definitely anxious, but so excited. I had asked you guys to ask us some questions on my Instagram. So these are some questions pertaining to the third trimester and let's just hop right into it. The first question that we have is, what's been your favorite trimester and which one is the hardest? My favorite trimester was probably the second half of my second trimester, first half of my third. Because now in the third, I'm at the point where I'm just over it. I'm tired, my back hurts, my legs hurt, my my fingers hurt, my down there area hurts, <laughs> just everything hurts, I'm tired, I'm out of breath. And then obviously the first trimester I would definitely say is the hardest because I was throwing up, exhausted, just sick all the time. Yeah, I would say second trim, ending of second trimester. That was the time where you had your bump and you weren't nauseous and it was cute. Yeah, and I wasn't like super out of breath yet. I was able to still put on my clothes without wanting to go to sleep <laughs> right after. Second question is, are you gonna vlog your birth? It depends. Madeline ends up having a vaginal birth, then I'll try my heart. Obviously, we're not gonna show you guys anything. Not down um, there. <laughs> no, but we do want recordings of us like seeing her for the first time and everything. And that would just be great. But if she has a C-section, probably not. Yeah. But we will be like filming that day and everything just like just the whole process of it all like but going we're not hospital. gonna make that a priority this what's the most important is that we get to meet our baby girl and that she's healthy but we also do want to film it for us like for us to look back in 10 years yeah. it's not gonna be just like a job type thing that we're filming it just for our job it's gonna be more for documentation of us it might not be the greatest vlog in the world we're not hiring a videographer or anything like that we do have a photographer though that will be taking pictures and she's like half a doula too yeah so that'll be nice yeah we're not gonna make it like a major priority in the day but we are gonna try to film as much as we can just because because we want to document we it for our life for and for our baby girl to be able to see it one day. You worded it good. I was trying to figure out how to word that. <laughs> Michael, do not fight her. <laughs> Y'all can share the chair. He's like, mom, He's do you see? He's making his tail hit her in the face. He's so mean. He's doing that on purpose. <laughs> Michael, she was up there first. Just so you know, buddy boy. <laughs> Poor Mia. She looks like she, she got down. Michael, you are so rude. Is Steven getting nervous about being a dad? So as you guys know, I have anxiety. Some of you guys might not know that. It's pretty bad. I wouldn't say I'm getting nervous about being a dad. I'm very excited. What I'm anxious about is leading up to the birth. I am terrified of driving 45 minutes if Madeline would be in labor. Long story short, I started a medicine called Prozac two weeks ago and it has been like the worst two weeks of my life. And so I just got switched back onto another medicine today for anxiety and I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm still anxious, but that's, it's gonna happen to me because obviously this is a stressful time. Mm -hmm. Madeline could be in labor anytime and I think it's just in the back of my mind like man this could happen any minute. I need to be on call any time of the day and I need to be there emotionally and physically and so that's what I'm nervous about is being so anxious to where I can't be there for her. Like and during uh, the delivery? Yeah. Yeah, but being a dad necessarily I think you're gonna rock it. Oh, I, I don't think. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I, I think I won't be as anxious as I am now whenever she's here. But no, I'm very excited to be a father and I can't wait for it. We're gonna make a great team. Yep. What are you most excited for when baby girl comes? Just for her to be here and also for me to be able to match with her. I was gonna say for her to be here and for you not to be pregnant anymore. That's I true. know it's yeah. so hard for you right now. Yeah. It it's is. hard for me too, because I want I want her here now. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any food smells you loved before pregnancy that make you feel nauseous now? The only thing that I had to like stop was um, I had to change my shampoo and conditioner. I could not use my shampoo and conditioner the honey anymore. One? No, a oh. different one. Like those kind of perfumey scents that was making me so nauseous. I haven't gone back to the shampoo and conditioner since I got pregnant. I mean, I guess like chicken. I would go through like phases of not being able to like cook chicken and stuff. 
Yeah. Like meat, can't do that. But I would say that's kind of subsided now. I'm not like as bad with it. That was more like first trimester stuff. Next question is, when are you due? February 8th. It is currently January 21st. I don't know when you guys are seeing this. Probably in a week. Probably. We're it's close. It's coming. <laughs> We're so close. Do you feel like your bump is huge at this stage or not as huge as you might thought it would be? I definitely thought I would have been bigger and I have a lot of people that say like, what, you're 37 weeks? But it has been popping the last few days, I feel like. You've like, been getting exponentially bigger. Yeah, I feel like my bump has gotten and bigger in the last like week than it did in the last like four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> what has been your favorite part of pregnancy? I don't know. I feel like just the whole experience in itself, like being able to do this and like I know my body is made for it. I think that's super awesome. Like I'm growing a freaking baby. Like we're about to have a baby in our arms that has been attached to me. Like that's so weird to think about. So I think that's like one of my favorite parts is just knowing like how big of a miracle it is. I mean, I'm forever grateful and blessed that I am able to do it. I know I talk about a lot of like the hardships and all that stuff. It is hard. It is not for the weak. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I could not do it. But I think it's just so incredible that our bodies are able to do this. Yeah. And that's what I guess we're made to do. Do you have a name picked? Yes, we do have a name picked, but you guys won't know for a little bit. You probably won't, you won't know until she's born. We've kind of talked about this before. And since we do put ourselves out there online and on the internet, there are some things that we kind of want to ourselves. And right now that's her name. And it's, it's an awesome thing that just us and our family are the only people that know her name. And mm -hmm. so you guys will know eventually. Yeah, because once we announce it, the whole world is going to know her name. But for now, it's just us, our family, friends, and we're just super, I don't know. We don't get to have that very often with our job. So we want to keep it. But you guys will know very soon what her name is. How do you think Mia and Michael will react to baby Lloyd? I think they'll do okay. I think they will too. I think it'll be kind of weird at first, especially with like the crying and stuff. We don't have a loud household, so I feel like they'll be like, what On is that? Edge. Yeah. yeah. I think with her growing up with them will help significantly. Yeah. I don't see them being aggressive. They're no. not aggressive cats at all. They've met like my nieces and my nephews and they're not aggressive. They're no. just more like standoffish. They're timid because the nieces and nephews are a little bit older. They can walk and stuff. But whenever, I almost said her name, whenever she's here, she'll be a baby. She'll be able to grow up with them and they will be there every step of the way. Yeah, and, and they'll uh, know her scent and know like, oh, she's a part of our family now. Okay, like she's okay to yeah. be around. I would say that they're more curious than anything. So mm -hmm. obviously that we'll let them sniff her out and everything, make sure that she's cool and allowed in the family. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of her if the cats <laughs> don't like her. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, no, they, I definitely think they'll do okay. Yeah. Like I said, they're not aggressive cats at all. Um, they've met, they've never met really babies. No babies. But they've met like toddlers and toddlers are a little bit more wild than babies. So I think it'll be good growing up with them. Will you breastfeed? No judgment either way. We are going to, well, I'm gonna try to breastfeed as much as I can. Um, I do know that it is a very difficult journey and I hope that I have the mental and physical capability of doing it. But as of right now, that is the plan. But I think we're gonna do, try to do like breastfeeding slash bottle feeding because I want Steven to be a part of that as well. Just to, you know, get that closeness with her and not me just constantly having to feed her. I'm gonna try to pump and like have breast milk and stuff. Yeah. We are gonna try to breastfeed. Hopefully she latches properly. Hopefully she doesn't get nipple confusion. We will see how that works out. That's the plan right now, but I don't know. Things may go south. <laughs> are you planning on a natural birth or birth with epidural? Medicine, give it all, all to me. All the way. I'm fine with it, honestly. <laughs> all that matters to me is that you're healthy and she's healthy. That is the only thing that matters at the end of the day. And I don't care how she gets out. I want her here safe. And I want you to feel comfortable, as comfortable as possible <laughs> too. I don't want you in pain. I hate seeing you in pain. What is the hardest thing about pregnancy? I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's different for everyone. Right now, the weight gain has been pretty difficult for me, seeing my legs. 
They are not my legs. I'm swollen everywhere. Oh, it's actually moving a little bit right now. My swollen wrists have gone down. Yesterday, it was not like It that. was not moving. Like, the swollenness is crazy. There's a lot of pains in my joints that I've never had before. Um, not being able to sleep at night because of the indigestion sucks. <laughs> There's a lot of things, but like I said, it is gonna be so worth it in the end, and I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for that ending goal <laughs> to get here. Even though I'm very scared of delivery, but I mean, again, our bodies are apparently made to do this, so I just gotta keep reminding myself of that. <laughs> yeah, I would say the hardest part for me is seeing you uncomfortable all the time and see the sacrifices that you had to make for this pregnancy, but every sacrifice that you have made is gonna be worth it. She's worth the sacrifice. Yeah. So the last question that we have is, are you gonna homeschool a baby girl in the future? I don't know. I, I'm i torn. Yeah, I think it'll just kind of depend when we get there. Just because like I don't want people to, I don't know, make fun of her for our YouTube channel. That's more like later down the road though. I feel like kids in kindergarten don't know that. But I also want her to have, not be at home all day long. I want her to socialize. We want her to socialize, make friends, and get out into the world rather than shelter her. Um, I'm not saying that if you were homeschooled, you were sheltered, no. but I, I want her to have that connection and I want her to get used to leaving the house and hanging out and making friends and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And just have more opportunities than she would if she were homeschooled. With that being said though, like I said, I'm torn. I I don't know because with I mean you guys know how the world is right now it's a scary crazy place but like Madeline said earlier we're just gonna have to cross that bridge when we get there Madeline was saying we don't want her to get made fun of for our YouTube channel but we've kind of talked about this before and we're hoping that the tides will change in the future where whenever we were kids we were like oh don't know my like I don't want you to know my middle name or don't look at these baby pictures of me but with the how far technology has gone and social media everybody has been taking pictures of their children putting them on Facebook on TikTok, on Instagram. I hope it'll be normal whenever she's in middle school and high school that she's not gonna get made fun of, you know? I like to see her baby pictures because like for our generation, we're not even that young, but like our parents didn't have A that social, social media, media platform. platform. They had scrapbooks at their home of us as babies. So very few people got to see those baby pictures or whatever. But we're also gonna be very cautious about what we post about her, thinking about her future of like, are kids gonna make fun of this in the future? Is she gonna hate us for posting this? Like we're gonna definitely think about her whenever we are posting stuff and about, we don't wanna embarrass her in 10 years or whatever. So we're definitely, I promise you guys, we're gonna be thinking of her everything that we post because we know that there are some parents out there who don't. They just think of content and this is awesome, let's post it. We're gonna be thinking of our daughter. She's not content, she's our child. That's something that I feel like a lot of people in this generation get confused with. They yeah. think children equals content and I'm gonna exploit my children. No, we're, no. She is number we, one priority. We are gonna post her though because we are gonna be super proud of her and we do want to show, you know, family and friends and you guys our daughter because we're very proud of her but we are going to think about everything that we post. Is this something that weirdos could be looking at in a weird way or I don't know, just thinking of her in general. We don't want to embarrass her. We don't want her to dislike us for something that we posted 10 years ago of her. We're definitely gonna be thinking of what I want this on the internet of myself. Exactly. Like if, say she had a blowout in her diaper, I don't think I want that on the internet. I know mm -hmm. it's natural and like it happens, but I'm not gonna post that of no. her. I'm not gonna post that of Gotta her. Gotta think about the future. Always yeah. gotta think about the future and that's what we're doing. I know that's been a very big concern of your guys's and I totally understand it has been a big concern of ours too as soon as we found out we were pregnant. We didn't know how we were gonna go about of it. We'll figure it out as we go and um, just know that we are being very cautious whenever we do post stuff. <laughs> I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for all of your questions and comments and everything. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe down below. Hit that bell so you guys get notified every single time we post a video. Check out our Instagrams, they'll be up on the screen. And we also have our other social medias down below in the description. I can say that I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant. Here's the bump, just a little update so you can see. 37 weeks, couple days when this video is being recorded. Um, it'll probably be up in like a week, so. Yeah. 
be 38 weeks by then. But that's my 37 week bump and I'm just, cannot believe we're at the ending. I'm just, I want her to be here. I'm tired of being anxious and I, I want her to be here and I want it to be peaceful and I, I just can't wait for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys are having a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. Please do not forget to be kind and we hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.